mean, I can't tell you the men, uh, and even women for that matter, that let's pry and stop dead in their tracks. I hope this morning that those that you know who you are, as Brother Randy said, we don't, you know, we don't have x-ray vision. We just get up here and we bring you what God tells us to bring you, and it's up to you to do with it what you decide to do. And I know what it's like. I, I, I know what it's like to go to your dad. I fell down at his knees, and I cried on him so hard and, and, and asked him to forgive me for how I felt about him. His pants were soaking wet. And at that time, he wasn't ready, and he just stood up, or just stared up at the sun and didn't say one but you know what, when I got up, I was having nightmares about him. But when I got up, my heart was clean, my heart was clear, and I never had another dream like I did I used to have. I was free. You want to get free this morning? Yes. Look, the food ain't going nowhere. Okay. I know you might be hungry. I know, uh-oh, Granny, it's 1245, God forbid. Amen? I wish everybody would take their watches off and put them in a bowl outside before they came in the sanctuary. We're on God's time. And and some of you won't be back in church until there's another homecoming, maybe a funeral. Worst time in the world to be in church is at a funeral. You know who you are. God knows who you are today. And I'm telling you, look, it don't have to happen right now. It, but it does need to happen today. Jesus says today's today. You can get with me or Brother Randy while the food's being served or whatever. I'm available 24-7. Amen. I want to thank you, Brother Randy, for that message. I need to hear it. Amen. And we're fixing to bless this meal that we're about to partake of. You know, we're fixing to eat like kings and queens. A lot of hands prepared the food that's back there this morning out of love. And some may not have been out of love. I don't know. Don't eat that. <laughs> but the point is, God's provided for us. This is a time of fellowship. This is a time when you laugh. This is a time where you forgive. Forgive. And you will never be able to forgive somebody unless you forgive. You must forget to forgive. I can't get that out of my mind, that message you just preached. What a message. But let's bless the food. Go enjoy this time together. Because it might be a long time before we see each other again. I pray not. I pray that you come through that door Wednesday night when we have our service on Sunday morning. Don't stop. Because if you stop, you're an easy target. It's hard to hit a moving target. It's easy to hit one standing still. Don't stand still for Jesus. Stand up, stand up, you soldiers of the cross. For he must not suffer loss. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I pray and thank you this morning for the food that we're about to eat. Lord, I pray that every bite taken this, uh, this afternoon, Lord, is a bite of thanksgiving. We should be thankful, Lord, we have this food. We should be thankful. We have the clothes on our back, the, the vehicles to get us here, the gas and the tank. Lord God, a home where we got dressed, food in those cabinets. And Lord God, a job to go to to supply those needs. And if not, a government that is willing to help put food in your home. We got it made. And I pray, God, as Brother Randy mentioned, we must not take it for granted. Here today, God the Mar, Lord, you give and you also take away. Bless this food for the nourishments of our body. And may we be so thankful today, Lord God, not just for the food, but for the fellowship. And more importantly, for the spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for coming to each, this, each the way about this church this morning. Walk in each pew, touching each soul, and reminding us of who we are and where we stand when we stand next to you. Love you, we praise you, Father, and ask that your precious and holy and wonderful name and all God's children said. Amen. Let's give Brother Randy another hand. Of applause. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you, what, like, you know, there was.
first nine of us, nine kids in, in Dad's home. Uh, I'm going to wait on you like one dog does another. 